Thanks for tuning in. I'm Belle. And I'm Star. And we are the Baby Baby Boomers. Boomers. And today... We're going to talk about dating tips. Dating, Um, yes, and we know lots of tips about dating. And I think now this applies to all ages. There isn't any, there's a lot out there for the young, but we want to appeal to all all ages, all you people out there. And 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 there are, at this time in life, there are more people alone and living alone than ever before. So I think we've got to get on to this meeting people and and dating there's <coughs> yeah there's lots of places where you can go dating it depend depends on what age group you're targeting yeah they use but some people still still use internet dating some have been successful i think some have been quite success- a popular one isn't it success- yeah yeah some have been successful and others not so successful. Yeah. So you have to be really careful on who you choose and yeah. and who you meet up with. Yeah. Yeah, and I would say, um, don't be afraid though. Don't be so, you know, paranoid that that you won't go, you mm-hmm. know, and you won't try these things. Because an awful lot of people out there, and there are, as you said, these all these meetups, all different things. You can do tennis, or you know, whatever your interests would be. So I think you've just got to go for it and enjoy it. And also. I've been on the dating. Really? Yes. But this was years ago. You know when they didn't, um, they didn't do what, have all this technology now. You sort of you can see dating anywhere or meetups and all different different things um, happening. But this was in the um, no, not the Guardian. One of the newspapers. They they have they probably still do have um, dating columns which are solos and meet your. Um, soulmate and things like that and uh, my friend and I we decided because it's more courageous with two of you mm, I agree with you yeah and and I, I we put an advert in to said two lovely ladies would like to meet two gorgeous gentlemen and um, we got a reply so we had this one reply and he was a twin of all things so we went to meet them somewhere in London I think that hotel to have coffee and he was really really nice and he wrote speeches after dinner speeches for Marks and Spencers and anyway my friend went to the ladies went to you know powder her nose and um, while she was gone he said I'm not really a twin so I was a bit taken back that not that he wasn't really a twin that he'd said he was a twin and he'd gone through all this uh, palaver, you know, and I think thinking back on it, we, we didn't see him again, we didn't meet him again, but thinking back on it, I think he was probably a bit nervous and liked the ad and wanted to answer it, and and then uh, that was the only way to think up, I've got another a, a twin. Well, how did you uh, feel about that then? Well, I didn't I thought it was quite amusing, but as somebody had mentioned earlier, that um, you know, they, a lot of people do lie on these things. They do yeah. lie, they lie about their age and who they are, where they are, where they come from. You know, I'm a friend, another friend of mine was found out that someone had asked her out and he'd asked her out a couple of times and then in the end she, she thought she'd go and she looked him up and he was married. She somehow, I don't know what oh, she you've looked got to be, yeah, You've got to be yeah. very careful with the, you're yeah. very careful with this. And so, yeah, she was... So I really liked it. I personally like to be, meet meet people face to face where you can so, go yeah. to yeah find out whether you yeah. like them whether you get on with them but, and but to take it take, take it from there. This was oh. somebody she had met. She met him on the train going back and forth to work, and he asked her out, and she looked on um, Facebook. I think she saw him, and it came up that he was married. She must so. have been de- devastated then. Well, I don't think so, because she wasn't very involved with him. Oh, but you've okay. always got to yeah, you look have. out. I don't think it's so bad if you're putting a younger um, photo on. You know, you want to try and look your best. I mean, I'm, I would do it. I'd put a little bit younger. I know it's a lie, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd put my daughter's face on there. <laughs> OK. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't, really. Okay. <laughs> She'd go mad. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think uh, there's a lot out there for a lot of people. Yeah, I think it's very important to tell... Tell people, tell a friend where you're going because oh, there's absolutely. a lot, a lot of yeah. unscrupulous people. So mm. yeah, we so hear it every day. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think always tell and tell them exactly where you're going. I'm going on a date, you mm. know. So you know you feel really safe, and they can always phone you. You know, you can say, "Can you phone me in an hour's time?" Something like that. 
So that's our top tips isn't isn't it, for today. today. And um, we'll be on our way now, won't we? Yes. Well, I'm Belle. And I'm Star. And goodbye, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.